Remember when this book was written almost 25 years ago, but it still applies today. And maybe the business from AEW to the WWE to MLW, NWA, New Japan, Impact, Ring of Honor, a PAPW, maybe everybody can learn a little bit by going back to the future, if you know what I mean. Entertainment personified. Let's go to a little uh, Wrestling Rules WrestleMania. Some early wrestlers had so much confidence in their holes that they offered bounties for anyone who could break them. For example, Nanjo Singh perfected his impressive cobra hold. Singh had so much confidence that he put up $1,000 for anyone who could escape its grip. Nanjo's boast was met with a vengeance by Jim Landis. In fact, Landis not only beat the cobra hold... He tossed Nanjo from the ring in the process. The Cobra hold was extremely effective, but it wasn't unbeatable, as we know, a.k.a. Sergeant Slaughter. Yeah, that's right. Slaughter put the Cobra hold on me, too. And I'll never forget the North Haven Fair, myself and Ron Zombie against you, Sarge. And, of course, that legendary match with me and King Kong Bundy against you, Slaughter. Don't think I've forgotten. You're owed a receipt. Retribution will be coming, Slaughter. Old man or not, the GOC doesn't forget. Who were the men and what were their cherished holds? Let's find out. Six-time world heavyweight champion Luthez had plenty of tools in his war chest, but his favorite was his crotch hold and spin. Let that sink in. Antonino Rocca, Antonio Rocca, whose exploits you read about in this chapter, in this book, in chapter seven, we already covered it, was noted for his use of barefoot flying kick. Then there was the Indian deathlock that Don Eagle liked to use. Primo Carnera used his bulky body effectively with a massive body slam. Mike Mazurki made his figure four scissors lock a piece of wrestling history. The Canadian avalanche was a trademark of Whipper Billy Watson. All of these men and their moves have charted a piece in modern wrestling. Dick Raines was building a fire one day. And 